Hip examinations in the athlete are uh, one of the most difficult and uh, examinations to perform to try to get a specific diagnosis. It actually oftentimes begins with actually having your patient, your athlete, tell you where the pain is hurting the most. So if it hurts in the groin, he would point primarily to the anterior aspect of his groin. This is the most common site of some type of a problem in the, glen uh, in, in the uh, acetabulum itself, a labral tear, avascular necrosis, arthritis. If he points to the, actually the lateral aspect of his hip, over the greater trochanter, that is an area that we would be concerned of trochanteric bursitis or a snapping hip. Uh, the final point that they generally point to is pain in their buttocks, uh, directly both posteriorly. We can have pain either because of hamstring insertion or sciatic nerve injury when they, paint, uh, when they point to their buttocks. Uh, next portion of the exam, after we've kind of localized where they uh, uh, point, to their pain, or point to their pain, is to try to identify anatomically walking through the anatomy of certain areas that might be painful. Uh, uh, when we look anteriorly, we're going to palpate over the anterior superior iliac spine, which is the insertion of the sartorius. We can go just inferior to that, which is the anterior inferior iliac spine, which is the insertion of the rectus muscle. We can actually then palpate more medially directly over the bone, right at the symphysis or, or the uh, pubic rami to look for a stress fracture. Or we can even go slightly more midline to feel for the symphysis pubis for osteitis pubis. Medially, we can bring the patient into some external rotation and we'll palpate over the medial aspect and as we force him into external rotation, you'll palpate directly over the gracilis and the medial uh, AD ductors of the hip. If they have numbness directly on the medial aspect of their, uh, their thigh, it would be a sign of an obturator nerve uh, impingement. Next portion of the examination by palpation would be over the lateral aspect of their hip. I'll palpate over their iliac crest which can, can cause iliac crest apophysitis or the lumbar muscles can actually pull off part of the iliac crest. More commonly, painful directly over the greater trochanter would be a sign of bursitis or trochanteric insertional pain of the gluteus or potentially a snapping hip. Lastly, I'm going to have you lay on your side. Palpation posteriorly, uh, we want to actually palpate down deep. You can palpate over the bump that you sit on, which is your ischial tuberosity. That's the insertion of your hamstring tendons. That may be tender with uh, uh, tendinosis uh, at its insertion. Just proximal to that, in a little soft spot in the, in the middle of the buttocks, is where the sciatic nerve comes out of the sciatic notch and can lead to numbness or tingling down the posterior aspect of the thigh.